Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Hello, I'm Sandhya Mane. I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that we post every Tuesdays and Fridays. Now, uh, welcome to yet another Zentangle mini project. Uh, today's focus flight series, uh, we have our focus tangle 9 by Maria Thomas. 9 is a beautiful uh, organic tangle that is easy to uh, create and it can be used as a filler tangle. I'm going to uh, use one other tangle to complete my project today. So go grab your supplies. All we need is a white square tile with a black pen, pencil and stub and let's get started. So here we are with our supplies, my white square tile, pencil, stub and my 01 micron. Okay, So uh, let's get started with our mini project today um, and today's focus flight tangle is uh, called 9. Um, so we start uh, with 4 dots on 4 corners, we're going to make a border but uh, we're going to make our dots inside like somewhere here because we're going to work along the border okay so something like this so I made my dots closer into the square paper and I'm going to join it freehand so I'm just going to really make it crazy like that okay so this is going to be my border as well as string. So I'm going to tangle along the outside of the border. Okay, so let's get started. So I start with uh, 9. So it goes like this. So you make a line like this. make a triangle and make it dark so you give a nice ending to the top and bottom so you have this lovely looking line now I'm going to aura this, this line so I'm going to go ahead and just aura this line like this and keep adding okay uh, now I'm going to add another one that goes like this so we're going to start with a center line um, that goes like this Now you see uh, my lines are a little curved, um, you can draw like that or you can have straight lines so that also looks interesting. Um, so try different variations. Okay, so now I'm going to aura this a couple of times. And let your lines go till the edge of the tile because that's that's all the space that we will be filling in. So now that I've done these two, um, I'm going to go back and start making more aura lines on the first one. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to skip this.
like this to see how this looks like woven into the first one the second line so that's that's what we're trying to do here so I'm gonna add one more and that goes like this So now I'm going to add all our lines to the second line that we drew. So that's going to go ahead like this. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to add maybe another one that kind of goes like this or maybe something that kind of goes like this so we're going to fill this space up or maybe something that's coming out of here so let's do that so i've started with my third line so it's basically this inner line surrounded by other lines and sets of these kind of stuck together and woven together that's that's the whole idea of i of nine Um, now I'm going to add one more that's going to coming out from here so let's see so each one is going to look different depending upon the space you have and how you started so don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine because it's not going to So I have three or uh, two aura lines done. I'm going to add another one that kind of goes like this. Okay. Um, just so. Or maybe like this. So I'm going to start making all our lines for this. Um, so now that I have space, I might go ahead and fill this. Ok, 
okay doesn't that look interesting and the best part is you don't have to have your lines nice and perfect um something like this looks really interesting so so i'm done on this side i'm going to fill it up till here and then we'll try something else okay so let's see how do i go about okay i'm gonna have one here and one here So now um, I have my nine going along like this on, on two sides. So I'm going to stop this right here and um, you know places like these. Let's go back and fill in some circles, some tipples and maybe fill in some black. So let's see how to kind of finish this whole thing up. So I'm going to add some circles here. Okay, so look for empty spaces and keep adding your circles. A few here. Now this is all done. So now let's move on to our next tangle. So our next tangle is poke leaf. Um, it's a very simple organic tangle. It kind of goes like this. So you make a stem, join it, join it at the top and make a leaf like that. Okay, so we're going to pull out poke leaf from here along the border as an afterthought i want to add one more uh, nine here because this is too much of an empty space for me so i'm just gonna do that before we go back to poke leaf and maybe one more I'm just going to pull out one from here
just to kind of fill the space so then I can pull out my book leaves okay so I'm gonna add a few more here maybe one more that goes like this right and just do one more here that's it okay so now i have you know the space is covered so it was looking too empty there um so now i'm gonna pull out my book leaf So this again, there's no definite way of doing this. Um, just keep adding, uh, depending upon how much space you have. Just gonna make one more here. And stop right there. Now I'm gonna pull some from this side as well. So I'm gonna pull out one last that's kind of touching this like this. Right? I'm also going so to pull out one that's kind of going like this because I again feel there's too much white space here, but this is all optional. I mean this is all on how your tile looks, so you can always take that call adding. Now um, my um, book route is done, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to fill these gaps again with circles and tipples. So let's go ahead and do that. Also fill in some stipple here so just take a look around and wherever you have white sections spots fill it up with tipples okay so I'm gonna fill this 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 all of this area So here this is a completed tile. Now um, let's get to shading and uh, get 
to stand a, a nice fun element um, so I'm going to work along this border here on this side okay so I'm going to put my pencil right along this I'm also going to go along this very gently though so I'm just dropping it right there okay. so let's go ahead and blend this and if you've been enjoying my video so far then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, if you haven't already signed up to my newsletter please do sign up at tangle organizer uh, it's a fun uh, uh, things i send out every week mm, small goodies in there uh, so do sign up and also get updates on my upcoming classes like that So I got this done so far. Now I'm going to add very little shading around here just to give the emphasis. I'm not going to do too much of it, just a bit to give that emphasis. And okay, so like places like these to show that overlapping effect. I think I got everything covered. Let's see. If you want to deep dive into Zentangle, then please do uh, contact me. I host um, classes, workshops. You um, can do group classes, private classes. So just get in touch and we'll see what works for you. okay cool so I think that's that's good it's not too much and it just gives that nice um, you know effect that we want okay that looks good now um, for a uh, book leaf um, again I might just add few pencil a few sections like here here and here very little very gentle just to show the overlapping effect and we shall end it with that okay like that now I want to do one final thing so for pork root, I just wanted to add a little, you know, touch like this to enhance a little bit. But again, these are optional, but I think it just adds, see that? This looks better, right? So let's give it a little oomph. I 
Okay, so there is my tile from today's project and we used tangle 9 along with poke root. So let's sign it. I'll put my initials right here. Like that. Right. So now let's finish it up. So today's date is uh, 14th August. 2020 and this is YouTube focus flight series and we started with tangle 9 which is our focus tangle and we used uh, tangle book leaf for some cool fun right so there you go and I'll see you next soon hope you had fun creating this project with me i would love to see your creation so head on to our fb group zenbees where all the after party fun happens share your works there and check out the creations by other zenbees if you're planning to share your works on social media then please do tag me at sandhya money or hashtag tangle with sandhya i do a facebook live every friday at 10 a.m india standard time uh, do join me on my facebook page sandhya money studio and let's tangle together now it's time to comment, so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also show some love and hit that like button, share the video and please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next on Tuesday in our uh, Spring Safari uh, video. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.